Welcome back to my channel, Fishermen and Fishing Women. Almost all of us have a trailer. That's how we get our boats to the water and get them home. Well, out of all those people that own Twin Trawler X10 boats, the majority of those also have a factory produced trailer that's made specifically for the Twin Trawler. Now, a few people have done some things different, but majority of them are the trailer that came from Freedom Electric Marine when we bought our boats. We only found out that there is a difference between some of those factory trailers from year to year. And all of them require maintenance. So come on with me, find out what subtle differences there are and what kind of maintenance you need to be doing to that trailer. Hi, my name's Jerry and I am a twin troller boat owner. In the description below this video, there are links to most of the items used in many of my videos. They are there so you can locate them in case you are interested. In the same area as the tires, you have your axle. And the axle has a hub on each end. And in the hub, there are two bearings, one at each end of the hub. Well, those bearings and the whole axle get backed into the water especially again salt water much more corrosive but you still need to maintain those bearings how do you do that how do you maintain those bearings well that's how john from missouri came into the picture here so let's see john from missouri contacted me and asked me if I had any kind of a maintenance document for the C.E. Smith trailer that comes from Freedom Electric Marine when you buy a brand new twin trawler. John was looking for information about how to grease the wheel bearings on his trailer. I looked through my records and my boat is over five years old and it had absolutely nothing in the documents that came with my trailer that said anything about that. John purchased his trailer in early 2018 when he bought his twin trawler. The reason John was concerned was he was trailering his twin trawler and heard a bang or a metal sound uh, and immediately thought the bearings had seized up. So he pulled the hubs off, didn't see anything wrong except that there was old grease on the interior bearing and then he cleaned everything up and put it back together. John said to me that the strange part is the zerk fitting at the front of the spindle and on the hub. I don't understand the design because it applies grease to the same location. That's why I'm asking for a manual. The C.E. Smith website doesn't have one listed, only the assembly instructions. My trailer, even though it is just a couple years older than his, doesn't have any kind of grease fittings at all. They're called Zerk fitting. So I was concerned maybe he wasn't talking about the right trailer and when I asked him he said no it's the trailer that came from Freedom Electric Marine when he bought his twin trawler new. But he told me he has two grease fittings or zerk fittings. One is on the back side of the hub behind the tire and one after you pull the dust cap off the center of the hub that would be facing out towards you as you're looking at the trailer. There's a cap there in the middle of the tire. There is another Zerk fitting on the end of the spindle. When John had pulled the tire and the hub assembly off the trailer axle, he realized that when you put grease in each of those two fittings, the grease comes out of the axle in the exact same spot. So kind of, what's the purpose of having two different grease fittings like that? And I don't have grease fittings at all, so he's then wondering, do I have the wrong trailer when they sent me this? originally. If you have grease fittings on your trailer, if it is a trailer that came from Freedom Electric Marine, please post down below and let us know 
if you have them or don't have them and generally what year you kind of bought your trailer. It seems that some of us have different setups on our trailer. They're not all identical. That's not bad. I just don't know what is normal. So John wrote to the C.E. Smith company and asked them in writing some questions. Let me read those with their answers. Question one, how much grease do I put into the hub to protect the bearings? Their answer, your hubs are 100% pressure filled with marine grade grease at the factory, purged of all air and require no maintenance for quite some time. A trailer used for short trips pulling a light boat such as the twin trailer may never need maintenance. If you live in Maine and trailer to the Florida Keys regularly, an annual grease change may be wise. Question number two, what is the purpose of the Zerk fitting in the front of the spindle tip? And he showed them a picture on the Smith axle hub assemblies. Their answer back, as you surmised, both the Zerks do exactly the same thing and either may be used to change the grease in the hub, remove the dust cap, inject fresh grease into either Zerk until fresh grease is seen coming out of the area around the castle nut. If the old grease looks good, you are done. If the old grease is contaminated with water and or metal fragments, disassemble and inspection is needed. The hub should be slightly loose to where you can feel a tiny bit of bump movement pulling or pushing on the hub. John is not the first person to have asked me questions about greasing the trailer hub and the bearings inside. So what happened here is probably good for everybody to learn. My concern, particularly for a trailer like mine that has no Zerk fittings, is that you don't know what condition your bearings are in or what condition the grease is in inside the hub. It looks like C.E. Smith has decided that putting Zerk fittings on the trailer hub area and the spindle is a great idea and that is however you are applying grease and then no new grease comes on until you apply more that means you have to take that dust cap off or you go around to the back side of the trailer wheel and apply grease there I'm not 100% comfortable with that. So I had installed Bearing Buddies. If you look back on a couple of my videos, I've talked about the Bearing Buddies and I actually showed how I installed them. And in the bottom of at least my most recent videos, in the comment section, I've actually detailed which bearings fit the Twin Troller trailer. Because Bearing Buddies come in different sizes and different styles and when I was buying mine, I really didn't know what was going to fit. I guess I could have called Smith and asked them about their trailer, but I didn't. I bought a set anyway, and luckily they fit. So I didn't want somebody else to have to go through all of that trouble and guess and then get the wrong ones and have to send them back and everything else that goes with that. So I put it in the comments below all my videos at least the last handful of them so if you want to buy them you can locate them there but clearly you are probably thinking what's the advantage of the grease being applied the way how john has it with zerk fittings or using a bearing buddy system well the zerk fittings as i already said you just apply the grease and it just sits there the bearing buddies by design, you replace the dust cap on the front of the hub, and that's where the bearing buddy goes. It's a spring-loaded mechanism. So you pump grease in there, and you actually back up the spring, and it continues to push grease into the bearings, and actually it oozes out, if it has to, on the inside, underneath the, uh, the boat, on the inside of the hub and it continues under that pressure. So if you back the boat into the water, that continued pressure keeps the water pushed out of the hub. At least that's the way how it works in theory. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait for part two because this is running a little long and there's lots more of information that you really need to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or push that bell below there or you can give me a thumbs up 
or share this with a friend. And you can even leave some comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching. Bye now.